Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm super excited today to be bringing the latest release from my favourite fragrance house which is Galan and the newest release in their line is La Petit Road Noir Pippa Chic. So Galan have been creating fragrances since about 1828 and then in 1889 they created a fragrance called Chiqui which is probably more or less how all of our fragrances are made now using synthetics. It's the first fragrance um, to use synthetic fragrances and I absolutely love all of the more vintage, the older fragrances. But this one has been a bit of a surprise to me. Um, I've not been a huge fan of the, the La Petit Robe collection but this one is absolutely delicious. As you will see from the bottle, it's like a graduated purple. The the bottle itself is actually based on the, de the original design by Raymond Galain, which used to hold the Le Bleu and the Mitsuko. The top of the bottle is actually shaped like a heart and originally these were made out of Baccarat crystal so definitely they are paying homage to the original bottles made. So this one, the Hippie Chic, is actually classed as a fruity floral. And I've been wearing this and both myself and my partner absolutely adore it. He says that he will wear it himself. So when you first spray it, you definitely get the hit of the sweet but also like a sour um, top note. And that's because it has um, cherry, uh, rose water and almonds. So quite a gourmandy top note. And then as you smell it, you can get the rose and then there's black tea in there as well in the heart notes. And on the base note, you've got tonka bean and patchouli, which give it a real sort of depth to it. And that's going to help it stay on all day. And I've worn this myself and sprayed it. And I think it's particularly delicious. And as you'll see again from the bottle, it has got the little black dress on it, which is like a crocheted one this time. Um, so the original uh, little black dress was created in 2011-2012 but I wanted to say today a shout out and a big thank you to my friend Gail who brought me this bottle because literally I think this um, particular fragrance has just been released so I'm not quite sure if it's everywhere at the moment or has hit the shelves yet. So thank you Gail. Um, Gail is also a member of the International Perfume Bottle Association so if you get the chance please go and have a look at that particular link because they have fragrances from years and years and years ago and they collect fragrances which are in sort of like um, old crystal bottles and then Gail herself actually um, is a collector of the newest and more modern bottles. But this is a beautiful fragrance. I've been loving it. It does tend to sort of like project very well. So people that sort of like walk past me will smell it, but it's not too overpowering. And I would say that this has been lasted on my skin maybe about six or seven hours. So I don't particularly have to respray too often, although I am a big fan of spraying throughout the day. So what I would say about this uh, particular fragrance is if the lady that you're thinking of buying it for, or if it's yourself, uh, like something that's quite sweet or with the cherry in it, such as the Prada Candy Glass or even the Dior Poison uh, Girl which has almonds in it, this is a fantastic buy. So I love this fragrance which has been a huge surprise to me. So if you're not usually a Galan lover, please go and try this one because I think that you'll be suitably surprised as well. Um, absolutely beautiful. So try it and then let me know if you've got any comments of what you thought to it. Please uh, leave a comment and I can get back to you. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and also to check out my other videos. So see you soon on Ellie Smiles. Take care for now. Bye.